second video in our digital drawing series. Um, if you haven't seen the video from last week, you can go to the computer lab and go to your grade, and there should be a video posted here. I'm still uploading it um, for you guys to watch the first video. Okay, but today, just like last week, we're going to get started by going into our um, supply room and opening up Collect Key. So you guys did this last week, um, so you should be a little bit more familiar with how to get started in opening up the um, paint program. So uh, before we get started, you guys need to make sure that you have taken your selfie. Um, I will post a video on how to do that and put it in you guys' um, class computer lab so you guys can watch how to do that. Um, but you should have already done it and we should have saved it onto our computer in our digital drawing folder, okay? So today we're gonna be getting started with making our portrait. So you're gonna wanna first start out by clicking this button right here called import image. It's like a little yellow folder with a paper coming out of it. And we are going to want to import our self portrait. Um, so here's mine. You can see it is in the digital drawing folder. If you have trouble finding it, you might have to go to your desktop, click the folder to open it, and open your picture. Okay, now this is very important. You want to import it as a layer, okay, not an image. You're going to click OK. Okay, and here's my picture. So it's a little bit big right now. We are on the paintbrush tool. We can use the plus and minus to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, bigger or smaller. And then you can see it always starts out on this paintbrush tool where you can start drawing. But what we're going to want to do is click on layers. Now this is just a few short buttons on what we're going to want to do. But I'm gonna try and make it really simple. All you need to do is click layer one and drag it above layer two. All right, so I just switched them. So it's gonna be completely blank. And then you're gonna take this um, dial and you're gonna scroll it to 50%. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it so we can see our picture. Oopsies, let me go back. So we can see our picture behind our screen. All right, so now all we're gonna do Let's go to the brush tool, and I'm going to change my brush size to a little bit smaller. And what we're going to begin to do is just start tracing our face. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes it messes up. You can just go back. Um, so you're just going to go nice and slow. And we're going to start tracing our self-portrait. All right, now I do not want to bore you guys with this part of the video, but I will show you how to do the eyes because I know that's everyone's favorite part. So I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to use the hand tool to kind of get my face in the middle here, nice and big. I'm going to go back to the paintbrush, maybe make my brush size a little bit smaller. And then you can start like tracing your facial features that are a little bit smaller because these ones take a little bit more time and it's just easier when they're bigger so you can see them. Okay, now I'm just gonna trace my little heart out. I didn't want you guys to feel challenged by drawing the self-portrait. I just feel like sometimes it's nice to just be able to trace it. Okay, now I'm just going really quickly for the sake of this video. My eyebrows a little bit pointy there. <laughs> oh, um, Actually, let me just go back and fix that. Okay. All right, so you guys get the point. You're just tracing the image, okay? I'm gonna zoom back out. You can see it's already kind of getting started. And you're gonna keep tracing until it looks like this. All right, this is my finished one. And um, I've decided to trace my jean jacket, but you can See, back on this one, if we go to our layers. Um, oops, that layer one, you can already see just where my face is traced out. 
Okay, so you guys are going to keep tracing until you finish tracing your portrait and you'll have a little bit of class time to work on it. But now I'm going to show you something very important. It's a little bit tricky and it's going to be how to save this. So I'm going to close this out. So you're going to click on um, from the paintbrush tool, you go to layers and we're going to go to file. Okay, this is a little bit crazy looking and we are going to click this down bar and we are going to click save layers. Okay, now on our layer screen, we have two layers. So when we save it, like I just did, we're going to have two different files. Okay, because we don't want to lose your drawing. Your drawing is on one of the layers. All right, and so now we're going to do the same thing we've always done, and we're going to drag our saved drawings into our digital drawing folder. Now when we open this, okay, you see this one right here? That is our actual drawing. The other one that we saved was just another selfie. Okay, so if you want to, you can delete that. But what really is important is that we have this one right here. So that way, if I wanted to start over by clicking this blank screen, I can import both of my layers again. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This is our first one. We're going to open it as a layer. Click OK. All right, and then we are going to open our second layer, which is just our picture. Okay, I'm going to actually open this one. And we're going to open it as a layer. And click OK. So when we go back to our layers, we can turn this down to 50%. And, whoops. And you guys are ready to start drawing again. That's how you save your work and reopen it. Okay, now I'm going to delete this layer one because we're not using it and I don't want things to get confusing. But now you have these two layers again. So you can continue to keep drawing, okay? But it is really important that when you go to save your work that you are saving both layers. You want to make sure that you have both of them, okay? So that is all you're going to, that is all that I'm going to include in this video. Um, if you want to, you can put your drawing up on Padlet so we can show them off next class to see where you guys are at. And next week, we are going to finish this up by coloring it in. Okay, I will see you guys next week.